Thank you. You were talking about the instant feedback loops that you see with the smart meters, and I was curious to find out how quickly you think these sort of the equivalent of, let's say, a hybrid car's dashboard people might see in their home where they um, could actually see how, in, in an affordable way. How, how soon do you think that technology will be available to the mass masses? Chris King. It, it varies by state. In Texas, you can get it today. In California, we're probably about 18 months away. Other states, um, anywhere from you know, six months to 10 years away, depending on where they are as far as installing smart meters. There's an interface in the smart meter that needs to be turned on. So all the smart meters installed in California today have this, it's a radio that sends the information to this device in your home. Um, and that needs to be turned on. So in California, the systems are being built and regulations being developed to do that. And uh, the commission will actually be ordering pilots to be done um, around, starting around the end of the year, and then wide scale, again, about 18 months from now. But it will be at the appliance level, or something is going to aggregate all the information in the home? Well, this just comes from the meter, so okay. it, it can't tell you each appliance, but this gets back to the uh, modeling I was talking about earlier. So what we think is going to be the, mo the most common model is a cloud service where you have a router in your home already for your home Wi-Fi. It'll have a receiver, it'll take the data from the meter in real time and actually put it back into the internet. The analysis will happen and they'll come back with either smart tips for you or this is how much your refrigerator is using based on our formulas. 